the perfect martini. That slap your mama good. So good. So good. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. What you making? I'm making a perfect martini. Ooh, what's so perfect about it? Instead of vermouth, we use a cheap Chardonnay that purposefully has gone bad. I know, you're thinking it's crazy. It's really, really good. So here's how it goes. Um, this is also one of those where I, I don't really measure it out at all. Pour some Chardonnay into the mixer. Throw some ice in there. Nice moves. <laughs> uh, now pour that into your glass and chill your glass in the freezer. I think you're forgetting something. What am I forgetting? The olives. <gasps> oh my goodness, I can't forget the olives. So the idea is everything soaks in the Chardonnay. So we use martini olives. We've also done it with jalapeno olives too. I like the martini olives for a perfect martini Whereas I like the jalapeno olives more for like a Mark Thatcher. Mm, so good. Okay, now freeze it for a little bit. Don't fall. Don't spill. They spilled. No, they didn't. We still have all of this good ice that's been soaking in the Chardonnay. Now we're going to put our gin in there. First, I need more ice. Don't spill. Stay. Don't fall. Don't spill. Don't fall. Gin. Botanist is one of the best London dry gins ever. We've been drinking it for a really long time. The problem is it's gotten really, really expensive now. So typically we use beef eater for a lot of our gin based cocktails, but we make a perfect, have to use it when we make a perfect martini. We still have our ice that's been soaking in the Chardonnay. Now we put our gin in. I go ahead, since I'm making two, I'm gonna go ahead and do three ounces per. So that's six total. Math is hard. Basically, you just throw however much gin you want to drink in it. Pretty much. However much <laughs> gin you can drink while it's still cold. That is the heart and soul of this drink. So, shake that up. I need some like headbanging music. Whew, that's cold. There we go. Grab our glasses. Now, what we're gonna do is pour out the Chardonnay, but keep the olives. So do it very carefully. And I kind of swirl it around a little bit first to make sure it really coats that glass. There we go. Most martinis are stirred, not shaken, which makes the whole bond thing. Uh, but in this case, I actually really like when the gin is bruised for this particular recipe. There you go. 